Yeah. Anyway. But, um, uh, anyway, but yeah, this motherfucker, he didn't like my shoes. He fixes my this and that. Motherfucker, make sure I ain't got no boogers in my nose and all that old type of shit. Oh, yeah, he makes sure all that old type. Don't let some shit be compromised. That nigga just finna bop. Okay, now we're going to finish talking in a minute. We, you know what I'm saying? He's going to get a napkin, you know what I'm saying? Because he wanted him. He'll get a napkin and clean that shit off. Shit. Okay, now what you say, babe? What? Motherfucker, you do shit to me and you still want me to hold conversations with you. How can I I'm gonna be able to do it? This motherfucker like, okay, we're well, finished telling me about what all we was talking. Nigga, how the fuck I'm gonna keep talking? I, I can't. How the fuck do you want me to still hold a conversation and I'm compromised? But you got my shit all wrapped around my motherfucking this part here. Nigga, what is going on? What is this kind of shit right here? Yeah. This nigga on some acrobat type. Yeah. Remember that motherfucker, what, 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 what's that show called? Mystique or some shit like that? It's a Mystique show. Circus LA, Circus Soleil and all them motherfuckers. And then these bitches that be on the uh, material that be hanging off of shit. Oh, my God. Baby, you think you can do that? Baby, you think you can do it? Baby, you think you can do that? Oh, I like that shit, baby. Baby, you think we can put something over here in the corner? You think we can do this right here? You think we can hang this up? I said, motherfucker, if you don't calm down, nigga. Nigga, uh, are you serious? Now, we both in our 40s. I understand that old type of shit. But I'm going to need a little WD-40 on this motherfucking knee right here. Because this motherfucker still be clicking sometimes. And now that I got this motherfucker, I'm like, damn, nigga, damn. You want all this shit? Nigga, this motherfucker say, okay, well, sit on it, but then put both legs on one side. Like, damn, motherfucker, you want me to sit on this motherfucker this way? I said, oh, my God. This motherfucker right here, listen, hey, hold up. I got some shit to deal with, y'all. I couldn't come on. I couldn't come on. My boy Carl was calling me. So me and Carl, you know, he been my nigga confidant, my man confidant that I can talk to to get a man's perspective on this motherfucker that I'm dealing with. He said, Tina, look at here. You got you one. <laughs> I said, baby, this motherfucker right here, though, oh, my God. God, this motherfucker right here, this motherfucker wanted me to meet all of the family members and shit. Oh, my, my mama coming down. I need you to meet my mom. And then my sister going to be here. And then, you know, because so during the holidays, like his mom is here right now. And I was like, oh, my God. This motherfucker was like, I want you to meet my mama and this and this and this. I was like, okay. Nigga, I was like, oh, my God. Give me some, because first of all, look, check this out. Let me, can I tell y'all? We was upstairs in the room. And I knew that his sister and them was driving down. They were, and they were, they was driving in and they were coming from Vegas. The sister, the sister's husband, her two daughters, and, um, she has a daughter, 16, and a daughter, I think 20 something. And, um, Another one of the daughter's friends. They was all coming over. We upstairs. Mama downstairs. Mama been cooking her ass off since she been there. Oh, my God. And she just, oh, I just, just, oh, I just, you just the cutest thing ever. And whoop, 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 whoop. You know what I'm saying? She just like me and shit. It's cool. You know what I mean? It's like when you coming back over, you know. And so Mama had left and went to Vegas. And she just got back yesterday. Sunday. Because she was gone to Vegas for um, uh, Thanksgiving. So she's just getting back and shit. Somebody stole mama's phone and shit. And so he had to get mama the money to go get her a new phone and shit. Because she was like, I don't know what I'm going to do. And then fucked around and lost her wallet yesterday. So it's like, whatever. But uh, anyway, um, it's been so hella cool. It's been hella cool. But anyway, we was upstairs. And I knew that his sister and them was coming. But you know... It was like, I ain't told him, you know, all about my YouTube stuff. He knows, slightly, but I ain't put him in on all this. Yeah, go to this right here, and then when you pull that, and then this gonna come up. No, I ain't know. Because, and therefore, I found that, you know, I, I just, you know, I don't want to, he knows, but, it, he, you know, he knows that it's there, but I don't talk about this. You know what I'm saying? I don't talk about this at all. 
He knows. I'd already posted that, but he don't, you know what I mean? It's not, okay, let me go over there and see what she, if she posted today or whatever. If it is that way, I don't know. So I'm just hoping and banking on the fact that he ain't, you know what I'm saying? But I ain't scared of the motherfucker no way. Nigga, I don't give a fuck about how you big you is, nigga. Shit, what is that? Look, still, no problem. You know, so he know, you know, so it's whatever. But, uh, it's crazy, man. It's crazy. It's so fucking crazy. But we compliment each other so well that it's like, you know, I like him like that. I love him. You know what I mean? And it's like, I know motherfuckers like, oh, auntie says she love him. Yeah, I do. You know, but I just don't want this motherfucker coming out the box like a motherfucking jack in the box. Do, 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 do. Jump out and come out tripping because, nigga, I'll fuck you up. And I'm all my I keep my kids got, god damn it. And I'm still trying to teach them what they need to know in this motherfucking life, nigga. You fucking with nigga. Don't fuck with nigga. It's like you fucking with my emotions, nigga. What? And I feel as though I got to fuck around and worry about my life or whether or not you're going to do something to me. Nigga, hey, look at here. I'm going to need a jumpsuit and a large. Okay? I'm going to need a large. Probably an extra large, though, because I don't need Kevin to. I don't want this bitch trying to eat my pussy when I go to sleep. So, I need, give me, go and give me that extra large, but still no less. Nigga, I'm going to fight your ass because I'm not going to go out like that. And allow you to put your hands and shit on me to where I'm worried about my safety and welfare with your Motherfucker, I can't sleep with nobody I got to watch like that. But this motherfucker right here, why he be watching me while I'm asleep? I was like, damn. This motherfucker come in the bathroom while I'm in the bathroom. Ladies, look. Hey, I was in the shower, right? Yeah, was it? Mm -hmm. Saturday morning? I was, uh, I was in the shower. This is Saturday morning or Saturday evening. One of the two. You know, he, it's so regular for this motherfucker to come. Why is you in here with me? Why? You don't have to do that. That's why I'm wondering, is this some new 4K shit? Is this some new millennium shit? Or am I just dealing with a special type of motherfucker nickel? Because I'm like, okay, now, I don't know. I, I know I've been with Kenny for a long time. Kenny done done some foul and wild ass, crazy, unorthodox ass motherfucking shit now. You know, I done witnessed that motherfucker do some real crazy ass motherfucking shit. He, never, he a rooted to the two ass nigga too, but God damn. This nigga right here is up to date like a motherfucker. This motherfucker like shit. Oh, check this out. It was a new seminar given. Uh, I am now, uh, I run everything. Nigga, if you don't calm down, <laughs> because, oh my God, I'm not accustomed to all that. Ladies, I'm not accustomed to that shit. I'm not accustomed to a nigga just being all right here. Uh, what is this? Why is you, why is you blowing on me? Did this nigga just lick me right here on my chin? Yeah. Why is you... What is this, nigga? Calm down. Because I don't want to have to look at you and be like, what is this nigga going to do? You know what I mean? I guess subconsciously I'm already kind of low-key like, you know what I mean? So it's like, you know, I don't know. This motherfucker was like, well, what's going on with these eyelashes right here? Now, this one right here got like three of them, and this one right here got... I said, hey, don't worry about that shit, partner. Uh, these bitches got to come off on their own because then therefore once they come up, I was like, why am I explaining this shit to you? Because he's this close up on me. When, if, when we're laying in the bed, this motherfucker's up in my face like, nigga, can I exchange some a different type of air now? Or do I got to kiss you every time I breathe in? Or if I breathe in, your nose breathe out, that's the exchange that we're going to have all night, nigga. Now, when I get into REM, I'm going to need to turn around and put my back towards this way. So, I'm just wondering, is your arm going to be around my motherfucking neck all night? Man! Yes! This is what the fuck I'm saying. I'm just saying. This is what I'm... Girls, this is what I got going on. So, Friday night, when I after I picked my daughter up from work, because she had to work Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, okay? Now, um, I don't allow her to catch the bus coming from work 
Well, I, I won't say I won't allow her to, but as her mother is trying times, so, you know, I pick her up if she's getting off at night. Because I just don't want her on the city buses and all that old type of shit. There's only one bus that she takes to work from our house, but coming home she has to take two. So, but I just, you know, she's 17, and I guess, yeah, she's old enough to be able to do that and all that old type of shit, but I'm on some mommy shit, and this is how I'm doing mine, so let me roll with it, you know what I mean? So I pick her up. So Friday, um, after they had told me what was up with the car, we had already known that the car was going to have to go in the shop, and he was like, okay, well, I'll find a place, and, um... Just check the levels and get on the freeway and come home. And then, damn, that's what he said, though. So, and then when you when you get here, we'll, you know, we'll take the car in the morning and drop it off at the shop. So, anyway, I didn't, he was like, don't get no gas or anything. When you get here, um, we'll go get some gas and go get some food or whatever when you get here. So, I, when I got there Friday night, I went and I picked him up, and then he got in my car, and then we left, and so I got over on the passenger side, you know, because he wanted to see, let me feel what the car is doing, you know, let me check the levels and all that kind of stuff, and he always fills up my tank, my car. So, we go get some food, and on the way getting the food, we go to the gas station to go get some gas. Motherfucker get out, I'm sitting in the car. You know what I'm saying? We on some Jodeci shit. You know? And he goes out there. He put the, the, the pump inside the car to pump the gas. My my um, fuel tank is on the passenger side of the car. So he he's pumping the gas. And then while that's pumping, he's lifting the hood. And he's checking the levels and make sure everything. So he comes back to the window. And so he was like, um, give me a tissue or whatever, you know, for his hand. So I, I had some um, wet wipes in the car. Gave him a wet wipe. He go back out there. And then he closed the trunk, I mean, closes the hood. And proceeds to get back in the car, you know. And, you know, we talking and everything. He was like, baby, it's not, the coolant level is, is good. It's, you know, you didn't burn no coolant coming here. <clears throat> so I don't need to top it off. It's not hot or anything. It's fine. Let's just keep going or whatever. So, um, he gets in the car, closes the door, turns the mouse, put the car in drive, and I'll be damned if he didn't forget that the pump was still pumping gas. Family, when I tell you he put that motherfucker in my, when you put my shit in, on, on go, nigga, you better be ready to go, because my takeoff is not bullshit. <laughs> the takeoff in my car, you put it in drive, it's moving. I mean, it's going, it's not no gradual going five miles an hour. No, when you put that motherfucker, just like it says in the inside of my car, put the foot on it on the brake. Because you cannot put it out of gear no way without, first of all, you cannot start the car up without putting your foot on the brake. You have to put your foot on the brake to start my car, and it's going to read your print. Once it do that, then therefore it's not going to allow you to put it in any type of gear until you're ready. When you're ready and take your foot off that motherfucker, oh, it's going. It's going like 15 miles an hour almost instantly. I know that probably sounds crazy, but for those of you guys that got high-powered vehicles and know what I'm talking about, the takeoff in the motherfucking car is crazy. So when you take your foot off the brake, you got to be ready to go. When he took his foot off that motherfucker, the whole goddamn pump holes came off gas just going everywhere here motherfuckers is at the pump pumping gas and i'm like oh my god i said baby oh my god what just happened right now he put it in he put it in he put it in park he was like oh god damn so i already knew it was bad so i'm sitting in the car and i'm like just sunk in the seat like what the fuck's about to happen right now? The police about to be here in a minute. Oh my God. Me and this nigga both on probably at this point in time, it done fucked it up. So at this point in time, we probably about on seven. So it's like, okay, nigga, we on seven. And the police is probably on their way. There's people out here. There's cameras and shit. 
old boy coming out of the goddamn booth and shit like, hey, what's going on? What's going on? I was like, oh, shit. So he out there talking to people. This other cat came up and he was trying to help. He, he had cut the gas, cut the gas off. And it was just gas was just, just it was crazy. And so I was like, oh, my God. And I'm sitting in the car like, oh, my God, Jesus, if you don't take this wheel right now. Now, I done just drove all this miles, just got here, you know, talking to him on the phone the whole time. Because apparently this motherfucker think I'm going to stop and watch some motherfucking way and talk to some damn body. So pretty much he like, okay, well, how far are you now? Well, how far are you now? What freeway are you on now? Where are you at now? This, this, this. Is the, is the gauge is changing? Is it saying it's getting hot? Yada, yada, yada. You know, the whole time. So, and now this fucking shit happens. We already got to put the car in the shop. We got to fix the shit either way because I'm not going to put no shit in my um goddamn cooling reservoir. Oh, it's some shit that stopped leaks and all that. Nah, I'm not going to do my car like that. Fix my shit right. You ain't finna nigga rig my shit and shade tree mechanic on my shit. And then here, you know, going going a cheap route sometimes is more expensive. You go to this motherfucker right here. All he needed was some motherfucking black and mouse and a dime bag of weed. Motherfucking $25. And this motherfucker right here ain't got all the righteous tools that he need to fix the motherfucking job with. But he still, he got that feel as though he can do it. Nah. He breaking up shit while he go. Nah. Take my shit. Does this shit say that they work on foreign cars? Does, you, does it say Jaguar in that motherfucker? Because if it don't say Jaguar somewhere on the premises, nigga, I ain't leaving my shit there. Period. Now, yes, I did go to Pet Boys because I wanted Pet Boys to be... I'm thinking that it's something that, you know what I'm saying, something just loose that they need to tighten up or whatever the case. Nah, these motherfuckers like, look, we can't touch this. You need to take this to the dealer. So I was like, oh, shit. So either way... When they said that it was a dealer issue, Pet Boys ain't going to be able to touch it, yada, yada, yada. So, Babe was like, well, no, bring the car, come home, and we'll, I will take it to a place, no problem. So, I was like, okay, this is my man, okay, whatever. Get down there, the gas shit happened. So, old boy was like, he was like, okay, well, man, look, I'm not getting ready to give you no insurance paperwork. Because the dude was like, I need insurance, and I need this, and I need, he was like, look, I ain't finna give you none of that shit. But if I, if we, if, how much, how much money, how much, how much, how much? I realize, I recognize, I did this. I did this. I was in the car with my woman. We talking, we listening right here. And hey, my bad. I, my mind slipped. I did this. Okay, now, how can I fix it? But to give you her information, because I'm not in my car. This is her car. And, but you're not getting ready to come back and try to sue her or get the police up here and all this kind of shit. How can I fix it? The guy said, give me $250 right now. So he was like, okay, $250, is that what you're saying? Okay, no problem. He digged in his pocket. I got the thing to flip down. I'm sitting in the car, and I'm like, you know, I'm looking through the rearview mirror like, okay, here we go. How's this shit going to go? I'm just sitting back like, you know. Shit, baby handled that shit like a motherfucking man. He was like, okay, well, look, I got $127 right now on me. All this gas and shit because I, 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 you know, did it on my card. So that, all this excess gas is still on my card. So then therefore, that's whatever on that. But you said $250. Okay, well, look, check this out. Let Here's my ID. Take a copy of my ID. I'm going to give you 100 of this 127 I'm going to go get $150 and I'm going to come back. But I just need to know that we cool. You saying that this is what it's going to cost? He was like, okay, you heard him. Y'all heard him. He said that this is what I'm going to give him. So, man, just allow me to go get the money and come back. Here's a copy of my license. The motherfucker took a copy of his license and he took a copy. Uh, he took a camera shot of the back of my car with his camera and cell phone. So, and I'm in the car like, Oh, my God, what the fuck is about to happen? Because I don't know, we ain't been through this before, so I don't know what the fuck you about to do. I don't know if we about to just drive off and leave, or you about to tell me I need to come in on half of this because it's half of my ride. I mean, because it's my ride, and or you about to do, I don't know what the fuck you about to do. Or you about to just say, fuck it, bitch, you on your own. I don't know. Ladies, when I tell you we went back to his house, 
I stayed in the car. He's like, baby, I'll be right back. You all right? You good? I said, yeah, I'm okay. Because at this point in time, I never once cried, but I'm just in like one of them. Like, oh my God, what just happened right now? You know, I'm a soldier, so I'm not one that come to the scene of the crime crying in, his, in hysterics and the one, you got to slap this bitch for this bitch to get on. Nah, I'm one of them ones, okay, what we got to do to fix this right here, okay, this is what's happening. I'm one of them ones that's not going to freak out. I'm one of them ones trying to fix the problem. So, but still, give me a minute because I'm like in this. So... He, you know, he kissed me on my forehead. He was like, baby, don't worry about it. You know, let me go get this. I'll be back down in a few seconds. You good? I was like, okay, I'm good. He, um, we went back to the house. He went up, came down. We got back over there. And he goes inside. And, you know, the gas and evaporated from the ground and everything. Everything is cool. You know, he got it kind of roped off a little bit, telling people not to come right there. Out of order, this and that. So we get back there, as soon as we pull up, the guy is in there, and he was like, he just went like this. I'm like, okay, I don't know what that meant. I guess he was saying to himself, the guy really came back, you know. So um, I'm still sitting in the car, so he's like, baby, I got it. I got it handled. You know, don't worry about it. I got it. So he goes in, he talks to the guy, so him and the guy is talking to whatever. So he comes to the door, and he said, babe, come in. So I was like, okay, I was like, oh my God, now I'm about to be on camera. Now these motherfuckers is about to see my ass, because ain't nobody seen me yet. I'm sitting in the car, and I'm sitting back, you can't see me. So I get in there, and I come in there, and the guy said, um, the guy said, um, um, I agreed that I would take the $250, and I'm going to give you a receipt that you can keep. Saying that, you know, everything is satisfied and we're good. I said, okay, fine. I said, but what I do need you to do is put the date, the address of this place, the pump number, the time of the incident. Because, see, you know, with a nursing background, you look at incident reports. When you do an incident report, you got to have it detailed on where you was, who was there, this, 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 what time, what date, who you talked to, point of contact, this, and this, and this. Who was notified, this and this and this. It has to be detailed. Because uh, in case something ever happened, you go to court or something ever happens later on, motherfucker, hey, look, check this out. On this napkin, he wrote this, this, whoop, that, whoop, that, whoop, whoop, whoop. Okay, case is dismissed. Ma'am, you can go home. Okay? So, when he was like, okay, he was writing it out, and I was like, make sure you put the address on there. I need your name. And this, 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 and I need the $250. And then, baby, I also need you to sign it that this is the agreement that y'all also made. So they did all of that, signed it, and it's in my glove compartment in my car. And when I tell you it made me feel so good as a woman, whereas I'm with some man that not with a man that not only is he's cognizant, but he's a man of integrity. Because a lot of things could have happened. Or he could have just been like, fuck this shit, this bitch on her own. I took care of it, baby, I took care of it. And then later on, this motherfucker done already took a picture of my license plate and shit. Later on, hey, this motherfucking shit gonna come through and now all this shit is going haywire. So, at this point in time, now, and he ain't even tripping off the fact that he just spent this $250. You know, he was like, baby, shit happens, you know, let's go get a sweet tea. I was like, okay. You know, at this point in time, I'm like, oh my God. I'm in awe that I'm with this man of character. I'm also in awe that this just happened. The car got a leak. We got to put the car in the shop. It's Black Friday. Motherfuckers is out shopping. I'm with Bay. I ain't at that now, so I don't know what Best Buy did today. You know what I mean? And it's like, it's just so fucking much going on. It was a sensory overload. I was ready to just go back to the house, nigga. And just, baby, can I just, I need to just take me a shower. And I just need to just go to sleep. It was just one of those days. <clears throat> well, needless to say, um, he put the car in the shop. Um, when Saturday morning when we woke up, he went over there and the guy, um, the place was closed. And observance for the holiday. So I was like, wow. He was like, well, then, do, you know, let's drive it anyway. So I want to see if it's going to overheat. What I was like, and then once I found out that, the, the, um, because I had went to the dealer. The dealer said it was going to be $880, $880 to fix it. 
When I called him from the dealer, he was like, nah, 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 baby, nah, 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 no, no. He telling you that because you're a woman and all that other shit. Nah, if, 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 it's, if it's a slow, slow, minute leak, then therefore just bring it home. And then, because that was the part, I guess, that I didn't really discuss, that I did take it to the dealer. When I took it to the dealer, because when Pet Boys told me that on Wednesday, I immediately called the dealer and I called Alvarez and I had to make an appointment to bring it in for Friday morning. Friday morning comes around. I went to the dealer. I had an appointment at 8 o'clock. They told me that it was going to be $880.00. Yada, 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 we can give you a rental car and, you know, it's going to probably take, uh, you know, a full day or maybe two days or whatever. Because the thing is, the reason why it was so much labor is because the way the, the, the coolant hose, it was the coolant hose that comes from the coolant reservoir, but it's up under the manifold, so it's mainly labor. Is that it goes up under there and all this kind of, kind of shit, loop up under shit, whatever. So I don't know how this happened, but I really believe that when I went to the premiere, remember when I went to that premiere back in October and my undercarriage had failed while I was driving on the freeway and I'm thinking I had hit something or maybe when that other cat had, remember I had stopped and this guy had put, um, he had put, uh, my, um, my undercarriage, he had lifted my undercarriage back up and he had used some twisty ties for it. And had brought the undercarriage up. And that's how I was able to move around until I took it back to Pet Boys. And they had put my undercarriage up. Well, I could have hit something and he had knocked the loose, the clamp loose from the hose. I don't know. But my car only has, it just hit 40,000 miles. So, it wasn't to a point to whereas, you know, shit should be going bad. And I've kept up, um, I just, my, um, warranty just ended. And it's like, well, damn. My warranty just ended. So, you know, because when I went to the dealer, I'm thinking, okay, well, then it's just a warranty problem. They told me, well, your warranty just ended. I said, ain't that a bitch? So, anyway, get to Bay's house. Um, Saturday, they were closed. So, Saturday, we just chilling. I'm just down there in L.A. with my baby, and we just having fun, you know. He has a really nice truck. He has a truck, and he has a car. And so, um, we took his truck and man, we just, man, we was out and about just hanging out, just riding around. Cause you know, a lot of time we'd be in the car. So he was like, well, um, we went back home, you know what I'm saying? Go get a little twist. And then we got in the car then and started now. Now we're driving the car. So he was like, well, let's see what's going on. He was like, I want to see your old Compton house. We went by my old Compton house and. We went to old Chico's Pizza over there on Long Beach Boulevard to go get some pizza. And, you know, man, we just, we just chilling. You know what I mean? Baby had bought this box that's um, hooked up to where she get all this different stuff. So it's like, well, man, we're going to get back to the house and we're going to chill and kick it and all this kind of stuff. So we did that. And it was just, it was just, man, I was just in some bliss all weekend long. And then he bust up with, let's go bowling. We went bowling the other night. And I had um, showed that to you guys. We just impromptu like okay let's go get some fish we went and got some fish got some sweet teas and as we drive and we ended up at the bowling alley and i'm like wait a minute what's this what what what, what we getting ready to do he's like baby let's go bowling you say you ain't never did this before you only been one time so let's do it i was like wow so we went bowling so i say all that to say you know, I'm dealing with a really, really, I have a really, really cool man in my life. And I'm happy. I'm having fun. I'm in a chapter of my life that I've never been. And I'm just, I'm just living it. You know, we put the car in the shop. Yesterday, the car was ready. Um, it ended up costing $640. Um, so, that was no problem. Which, you know, I wasn't looking for him to, you know, pay to get my car fixed or anything like that. Um, but how about when the guy called and said the car was fixed, he was like, babe, you know, well, what you need me to do? I was like, what do you mean? What do I need? What do I need you to do? He was like, what you need me to do? And he was like, you know, I know, you know, this is your baby and this and this and this. I mean, girls, when I tell you this motherfucker was on it, on whatever, and it was just fucking me up because I'm like, wow, you know, I don't know him that well, but this man is like... You know, I mean, just, whoa. It's like, it outweighs the fact that you checking my shit like no end. You know, like my auntie was just saying, like, niece, you know, 
he do this and then he turn around and do that. He do this and then he turn around and do that. You know, he's possessive, but then he turn around and do something so sweet. The where it's just like, wow, I understand that, you know, you caught up right now. I'm caught the fuck up. Like, really? Like, I don't know. Because it's like he'll do this real cool and then it's like, I don't know. So, anyway, I was sitting up here and that's what Steer had me this morning. The words I said, girls, we need to talk. I need to have a need to meet. Because I began to take my clothes out um, of my luggage. I had took my bag. And um, this is my robe that I had took with me. It's so much motherfucking DNA on this motherfucker. I said, shit, they put a blue light in this motherfucking room on this robe right here. Smell like my baby and me. But I was like, you know, so I was sitting up here and I was going through my bag and, you know, taking clothes out. Just, I had wore this sweater on Saturday, but this sweater is...